I was sitting in a chair and I felt myself go like this, back and forth, back and forth. This woman was on the 14th floor of the Custom House in Boston, 230 miles from the epicenter. I think we just had an earthquake. My husband was like, no. <laughs> the 4.8 magnitude earthquake was centered near White House Station, New Jersey, along what's known as the Ramapo Fault, which stretches nearly 200 miles from Pennsylvania through New Jersey and into New York's Hudson Valley. We'll study the earthquake to see if it was actually associated with that fault or not. The seismograph at Boston College's Weston Observatory recorded the quake for about six minutes, but most of that shaking was too weak for people to feel. Professor John Ebel says it also depends on what kind of ground you're standing on. The people who would tend to feel the earthquake would be the ones who would be on like soft soil areas, like some of the landfill areas in Boston and, and in some of the river valleys, like the Sudbury River Basin. Experts say there is a risk of aftershocks in the coming days and even a tiny risk that a bigger earthquake could be coming. We are going to be reviewing all potentially vulnerable infrastructure state sites throughout the state of New York that is critically important in the aftermath of, a, of an event like this. Now remember, the Richter scale for earthquakes is an exponential scale. So every time you go up one step, the earthquake gets 10 times stronger. By way of comparison, the one that hit Taiwan this week was more than 400 times stronger than the one we felt today.